democracy is under siege and that uh, it is basically not just in Europe but globally it is um, being threatened by quite a number of forces. The challenge uh, is visible and it is visible in terms of rule of law, it's visible in terms of individual rights, media freedom and many other aspects of democracy. There are trends that we see more now partly because we are able to communicate through social media, international mediated networks, and we detect similarities of how attacks on democracy work. We actually have a very broad topic. The title of the conference is Probing Democracy. And, uh, but there's a reason for that. We study democracy um, from the point of view of the law, from the point of view of sociology, from the point of view of uh, social injustice, from the point of view of history, from the point of view of the environment and sustainability, not just political science. And within that theme, we want to showcase the ideas and, uh, and the problems that we're, we're struggling with and that we're working on. How can we live together as people in functioning societies? And how can we claim that, yes, we discuss everything in the world and we all have our right to think different, but in, in a good discourse about democracy, we can also discuss what are the foundational values that we all protect. There's been a lot of discussion in academia over the last two decades about how the internet has been able to democratize these online discussions. It allows anyone to come to express their opinions, to be, to be heard. So young people are losing faith in democracy as the world is experiencing a democratic backsliding and the hollowing out of democracies in a, number of, uh, in a number of countries, specifically in Eastern Europe as well. The whole practice of gerrymandering, which is uh, something which originated in the United States, and which consists in deliberately manipulating the boundaries of an electoral district in order to, in a way, perpetuate your uh, electoral position uh, during uh, future elections. It has been tried out with success as part of this illiberal toolkit by a number of, um, say, governments also in Europe. One of the most important questions going forward that democratic regimes need to grapple with is how the internet can be governed and if it should be governed and if these monopolies should be broken up. The fight against this spread of um, authoritarianism has to take um, academic knowledge into account. We should not have uh, our own national, uh, if you wish, uh, centric approach to, to democracy, also not a Eurocentric approach, but that uh, democracies can be very, very different. But we, we, we also have to make sure through interdisciplinary research that um, we see what the actual practical functioning or the practical problems of a democracy are. And we have to see it clearly in combination with other things. Uh, in our ReConnect project, for instance, we have come to the finding that it is impossible to dissociate democracies from the question of the rule of law. You cannot have one without the other. So uh, for those reasons it is really important to understand what democracy is and what, what it can bring us, what the limitations of democracy are also. 